hey guys welcome back to my channel ag motion designs and in today's video we are going to create this glitchy google logo animation inside of after effects without using any third party plugin so if you are new to this channel then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates so without wasting any more time let's get started So here we are in Adobe After Effects. Let's create a new composition. I'll call it as Main Animation. Width is 1920, height is 180, frame rate. Let's choose 30 second and duration is also 30 second and background color is black and simply hit OK. Then I have this Google PSD file over here. I'll simply bring this to After Effects and over here composition return layers I'm going to choose and I'll simply hit OK. So I'll get this file over here. Now I'll double click to open this file. And this is photoshop file where each and every element is on separated layer and let's select all of them and hit k ctrl c to copy go to main animation and hit ctrl v to paste it and we will delete this one now right click new and we will create one null object i'll select all of them and i'll make it parent with this null one select this null one press s for scaling option and scale it like this at appropriate size and uh, let's bring this somewhere around over here Let's go to choose grid and guide option and hit on titles affection so we will get this kind of grid and we will adjust it properly at the center and simply delete this null object we don't need that anymore and now we will delete this stuff now select all of them and press p for position let's create one keyframe and go to around 1.20 frames and we will create another keyframe then go to the start and let's bring this logo downwards like this select those keyframes hit uh, f9 to easy knees those keyframes go to the graph editor select this graph right click and make sure that you are in edit speed graph then only you will get this kind of card select this graph and by holding shift i'll move this handle over here select this and move this handle over here so you will get this kind of animation now i want the distance of 10 10 frames between each and every alphabet so i'll go to the 10 frames i'll select this o and i'll move this over here i'll go to 20 frames i'll move this over here this one over here and go to around 1.10 frames adjust it over here adjust it over here like this so we will get this kind of animation one by one now select all of them and press ctrl shift c to pre-compose this and let's call it as logo animation and hit ok like this and now i'm going to select my rectangle selection tool and i'm going to create one mask on it like this and if you hit play now we will get this kind of animation but if you see over here we can see uh, this g over here so let's go inside this select this g hit u and let's bring this a little bit downwards so now it's gone so we will get this kind of animation so this is for our animation portion so let's close this now press ctrl n to create another composition and we will call it as map and simply hit ok press ctrl y on keyboard to create one solid background layer and go to the effect and presets panel and search for fractal noise effect and simply double click to apply now there are few changes that you need to do over here first of all instead of soft linear we are going to choose blocks complexity we are going to choose one and brightness we are going to choose 80 so we will get something like this now we will go to the transform and we will unlink this uniform scaling like this so we will get separate uh, readings for scale width and scale height and let's increase this height and decrease this width like this and try to adjust it like this and let's increase the complexity so we will up to let's say 2 <coughs> so we will get something like this now let's go to the main animation comp and hit ctrl 0 to open our project window and simply bring this map over here and we will hide this now select this logo animation comp and so go to the effect and presets panel and search for time displacement effect and simply double click to apply and we are going to choose this map so now if you go to the start obviously we will get different weird stuff so let's go inside this logo animation hit ctrl a to select all of them and let's try to move them to one over here like this so if you see 
we will get this thing from the start because we have created this mask and that's why we are getting this weird stuff so let's do one thing uh, so let's select this time displacement and delete it first of all i'll select this i'll press ctrl shift c to pre-compose this and make sure to move all attributes into the new composition and hit ok like this so now inside this we have this composition which contains mask and then inside this we will get this animation so let's close all of them and now i'll select this and now i'm going to apply time displacement effect and then i'm going to apply this map so if you see this thing now we will get something like this let's try to hit play yep okay so now select all of them press ctrl shift c and we will call it as final logo and hit ok like this hit ctrl d up to three times select this fourth layer <coughs> and apply fill effect on it choose red color select this one apply fill effect choose green color select this one apply fill effect and choose blue color like this now go to the start go to the five frames select this one move this over here go to the 10 frames move this over here go to 15 frames move this over here so we will get this kind of gluey logo reveal and after that select all of them uh, i mean only last three layers and choose screen mode on blending options so we'll get something like this now let's go inside this and if you go to the logo and uh, not logo but this map and right click new and create one adjustment layer let's say and if you apply turbulence displace effect on it this adjustment layer you will get this kind of stuff and if you see oh, this animation over here you will get this kind of look so you can play around with this stuff also so i'm gonna go in my map and now select this and we will create one keyframe at evolution tab over here atu and let's go to around six second and let's make this one so we will get this animation over here and if you see this thing now over here we will get we will can see that effect of turbulence displays over here also in our animation like this okay now select all of them and press ctrl shift c and i'll call it as logo and hit ctrl d press s unlink this and let's make this you know minus 100 press p and let's bring this downwards hit ctrl 0 and we will bring our map composition over here and we will hide this i'm going to select the second logo and i'll go to the effect and presets panel and i'm going to apply compound blur effect on it and let's change it to map so we will get this kind of map over here select this press t and let's bring this opacity up to 30 percent uh, because i don't want much more and we are going to select this rectangle selection and we will create one mask on it but let's make this increase this opacity a little bit go to the mask and increase the mask feathers okay so now if you see you will get something like this okay uh, hit u right click and create one adjustment layer and you can apply glow effect on it <coughs> increase the glow radius increase the glow threshold like this and if you see now you will get this kind of animation so yep this is how you can create this kind of uh, google glitchy logo reveal animation inside of after effects so i hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial and if you like this tutorial then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates and if you want to create some more interesting animations like this then check out these two videos i'll see you in my next video until then stay tuned